Hey y'all, it's your favorite girl Sim when it comes to YouTube and Facebook. I know, I know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today I will be showing you a real quick, simple, easy Pix Art thumbnail thing that I do. Like I make all my thumbnails, and a lot of people have been asking me, Sin, do a video, do a video. So Sin is doing a video, and it's real quick. It still looks good, but it's a real quick video. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. But y'all didn't come here for me to talk. Y'all want to get them thumbnails so y'all can get them views. So let's get to it, y'all. Okay, I have an iPhone, so I'm not sure how your icon will look. But this is the icon that I have for iPhone. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. So we're going to click it, open the app. And it shows PixArt. And then on this page here, it's just like the main cover. It shows you different type of templates that you can try. There's so many different templates. So if you don't, you know, if you don't know where you want to begin, it's on here. You can just find whatever you need. But we're going to click the circle button here at the bottom. And then on this page, this is where you're going to create and find what you're going to use. There's photos, there's videos, templates, draw, and color. If you scroll down then you got your images collage you can use freestyle all your videos all your pictures are in here your selfies everything all your tools then there's different backgrounds you can choose from smart tools it's just so many different things that you can do this is where you will start to create from so if you don't know where to begin you can play around with the app a little bit so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna type in YouTube backgrounds so there's a lot of backgrounds that'll pop up we're just going to use this top blue one here so once you get there then we need to resize it so we're going to go to tools and we're going to resize it to 16.9 that's youtube's dimension so we're going to use 16.9 for the thumbnail and then we're going to scroll over and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick our picture well that's what i do i pick my picture and then i scroll over and then i cut it out you want to cut out just yourself so then sometimes it'll go over what you need so just go to erase and then you'll just erase it out like slowly erase it out the eraser can get bigger it can get smaller but you just want to erase out all that stuff because all you want is yourself or whatever picture you have once it looks good you'll zoom out you say okay you'll preview it and then once you do that then i like to put like a little shadow behind myself <laughs> i don't know and then we're gonna flip it and then we're gonna resize it to whatever size that you want and i like to put mine over in the corner i take a little time to see hmm, do i want it here do i want to zoom in do i want to zoom out and then that's what i do there and then i start typing so i'm gonna say facebook bonus and then has a new okay then we're gonna put that down there so i like to like size it different sizes to make sure everything looks good so we're gonna size it good get it really good and sized you want it bigger if you want it smaller then we're gonna change the color to give a little pop so I'm going to find a good color. Okay, well, we'll go with this color. Okay, so then I put the color on there and then I go over and I put like a little background border around it so it can stand out and be bold. See how it's now? It's got the black behind it. Then I'm going to type in program. Just something to make it stand. Just th this a practice template, guys. So put program. I'm going to change the color. Pop red. And then, of course, I'm going to put the stroke behind it. I don't know why I just do, but I do. So put that there, and then I take my time. I look at everything, see how everything looks. And then, okay, let me fix this a little bit. It was a little bit up. Okay, everything looks pretty good. And then I'm going to type in, you know what, guys? Okay, so let me stop. We're going to go ahead and get different little items to put on here so as you can see i'm going to shrink it very small and just place some different places so that you know just to help the background stand out a little bit then we're going to go to duplicate and it's going to take the same size of that one and just put them different places and i you know what guys in the beginning i said youtube backgrounds but i'm doing a facebook thumbnail okay sin but you get it 
So we're going to keep <laughs> putting different little icons, different little graphic things on there to make it spice up just a little bit. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to type in, let me see, Facebook. If it'll type, Facebook. Okay, let me see. Notifications. Then it'll pop up with different little things like, like this. I'm going to go with the top one. I'm going to put it down. We'll make it small. Put it down. It's not standing out that much. So I'm going to put a shadow behind it and make it a border. Put a border. So see how it stands out now that I put the border behind it? So that looks good. Let's go in there and see what else we can find. Okay, I'm going to get that. Okay, so we're going to put that down. We'll make it smaller. Then we're going to put the shadow behind it. We're going to put a border to make it stand out, make it pop a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. What y'all think? Like I said, it's just something to show you guys how I do my background. Okay, so then after that, we're going to save it. It saves to your phone. And then voila, look what we have. I hope that you enjoyed the quick tutorial. I hope that it wasn't going too fast. I tried to slow it down so that y'all could see step by step by step. But if it's still not enough, let me know and I'll try to go a little bit more into it. It was like a quick little over my iPhone app type thing. So I hope that you guys, you know, was able to see what you needed to see to get it done. But also, if you still need help with your thumbnails, I am your girl. I do thumbnails for $10. All you have to do is send me all your pictures that you want to use. Let me know what background. And email it to me. My email is down below. I'll look at it. I'll get all your pictures. Give me a brief description of how you want your thumbnail to look. And I got you for $10. I got you for $10. You have the bomb.com thumbnail. Everybody will be clicking on it. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know for me to do your thumbnail for you. I'll be more than happy or for me to go into a deeper video on the thumbnail, let me know that as well. But like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I am doing a sale or yeah, sale. <laughs> $10 thumbnail, send me all the information that you want me to do, and I'll fix it up for you. I'll send you a copy of how it looks, and then you can give me the $10, and then you can have your thumbnail, and we can work, 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 work. The first one's $10, and then the second one, I might do the second one for five. Yeah. So if you get one the first time, and you get another one, then I get five. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, your girl Sin is out.